What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter. I'm so excited for this video. Today we're talking about the new studio. We're doing a studio tour. We're talking about the process of building the studio. So let's go check it out. You guys ready for this? Blue door. And here it is. The new studio. Love it so much. Many of you guys helped out with this studio project. Thank you guys so much. So here it is. Let's take a tour. Okay guys, so the first thing I want to talk about is just how the studio was designed overall. And I did a whole video about this way back in the day and we ended up sticking to pretty close to the design that we had started with. But so how it ends up is we wanted to think about it in terms of where the clay goes. So we follow the clay. So the clay, we bring it in, it's raw clay and it starts here, right? The wheel is the first step. So we throw on the wheel, we make stuff on the shelves, we do it and then we have the work table. So this is our massive four by eight foot work table, birch plywood for the top, which has been fantastic. So then we continue over here, kiln rooms in here, but then here we also have the glazing area. So the work table and this work table counter kind of double as both bisqueware work or greenware working and also glaze working. And these shelves, I'll talk about that shelves in a second. So then we come into the kiln room and we have two different kilns. This kiln I've been using as just mainly a bisque kiln because you can stack things up really well in it. Uh, and whoo, it gets hot. It gets so hot in this room. <laughs> so this kiln is cooling down right now and uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek in a, in a bit. I'll, I'll open it up and show you what's on top, but not yet. We have dried bisqueware here that's ready to go in the kiln here. And then it comes out onto shelves over here. So then it, this is all ready to be glazed right here, right? So we'll glaze it, then it will go back into the kiln room and then get fired there. Then the pots come out when they're finished and then they would go over to our like finishing office area, which would be over here. So that's where we would pack and ship and get boxes ready. And so that's when we have our desk area here. And then the one of the most important parts of any pottery studio is the sink area and the cleaning up area. So, so then we have our sink area. So watch this. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the studio right here. The no touch sink. So when I'm all full of clay, I don't have to touch the sink and get it all dirty. So that's like one of my favorite parts of this. I mean, every part of this studio is like my favorite part. So that's the basic kind of overall feel of how we want kind of the flow of everything to work. We also have our slab roller over there, which we've used a lot for the Minnesotas and all this like slab work that we do on different mugs. That's the basic stuff. Now a few things that I really think have been beneficial. This shelf wall is probably one of the best things about this new studio for me and the most functional things. So basically I made each section exactly the same size. So they're all 42 inches. And so then down here I have all these boards that are the shelves. And so when, I, when I'm ready to throw pots, then I can put shelves in here like that and then use the shelves. And then instead of having to take one pot off, one pot off, one pot, I just take the, you can fit about 10 pots with on bats there. Then I just take them off there and I move the shelf. Say I'm ready to glaze all this. Then I just pop this off, bring it over 
and then I just start glazing it. So it's a super efficient way to have shelves that you're able to move them. And especially when like I'm making bisque or greenware and I want to let it dry, then I just load everything onto one of those shelves, bring it into the kiln room, and then it all dries in there on the shelf. Super efficient. Love these shelves so far. Shout out to my wife and, be and beautiful person, but also an amazing artist. Mural behind there. Shout out to my buddy Tom Argebright who helped me hang all those lights. Shout out to my mom for helping me get that. She got me that John the Potter sign for Christmas. Another one of my favorite parts that's new is this clock. Shout out to Maria. Go check her out on Instagram. How sweet is that clock? I love it so much. Moving on. So one of the other things I'm really proud of in the studio is how much we were able to repurpose things. So at the same time that we were doing this studio project, my uh, wife's parents, my in-laws, were remodeling their kitchen. And so they were getting rid of that bay window, they were getting rid of this three pane window, and they were also getting rid of this two pane window. So we said, uh, yeah, we'll take them. So those windows were all from their old kitchen and these countertops, these are quartz countertops. Like you think we ever would have put quartz countertops in a, a pottery studio? Uh, no way. So we took those from them and then we also got their cabinets, which we have one cabinet there, one cabinet over there, and then a cabinet down here. And so those were also all from their kitchen. And so we basically designed this whole wall around the stuff that we had from them. So countertops, we did end up getting a new sink and a new uh, faucet. The other two windows, shout out to my buddy Brian Falk, he had just built a new house and so this window and that window in the kiln room came from him. So he had two extra windows left over from the building of his house. So that was super cool and saved a ton of money because one of my buddies is a salesman for windows and he said he gave me a quote and it was astronomical for what it would have cost for all these windows. So that was super nice. Barn door came from Costco. We do have air conditioning in here. Just a window air conditioning unit which so far has worked very well. Air filter, you saw that video. Extruder, shout out to Brent. Scut, shout out to Scut for the wheel. Shout out to Main Street Floral and Waconia for some of these plants. Really into planters right now. All right, are you guys ready for a little peek in the kiln? Let's do it. Let's just peek in there. I think there's gonna be some cool stuff. Oh, yes. Cool, cool. Some pretty sweet stuff in there. Oh, it's seriously, it's been like such a dream to work in the studio. Here, if you wanna look on the outside, this is what it looks like on the outside. There's the addition for the kiln room. There's the, there's the view at our house. Farmland as far as the eye can see. And then on the other side is the golf course. This is the extension, the kiln room right here. So it's like a 12 by 12 foot room. And then we just put this nice bed over here. And there we go, we're all the way around. So a few other things that we definitely are gonna do in this studio is put some shelves here that are more like just display shelves. Cause like right now I'm taking stuff out of the kiln and I love to have pieces that I've been doing around when I'm glazing new stuff because it's always like, I'm always like, oh, how should I glaze this? How should I glaze this? So then having all that stuff to jog your memory really helps me. So we have all those planters over there, but this is gonna be kind of the shelves where we keep some of the best stuff that comes out. I think up here we're gonna put some shelves because I've, thankfully from you guys, I've gotten a lot of pottery from you guys and so I have a ton of pottery that I wanna display. I mean, I have four pots in here from other people and we have a bunch in the home and so pe stuff that people sends me, I wanna display it like probably up there. So if you guys send me a mug or a cup or a bowl or whatever you wanna send me, then it would be displayed up here. I already have a couple other pieces of art displayed like this one. That was a sweet piece that somebody, one of you guys sent me. Look at that thing. Isn't that cool? This is the first ever pot thrown in the new studio. It's got a plant in it that's thriving. It's just a rack designed to hold all the bats. So I made it so that it could fit the circle bats that are like the 12 inch ones, the bigger ones that are 16 or 18, but then it can also fit the square ones too. So you just put them diagonally in there and then it fits those. So that's been a really easy and good way for me to keep those a little organized. Pegboard, keep tools organized. These lights, they can also change color. They're blue. Say we can't decide and we want them to uh, change colors. 
There we go. Now it's like a disco rave in here or something. All right, friends. Well, that was the studio tour. What do you guys think? What do you think of the new studio? Ah, I love it so far. Um, I literally have been like making so much more pottery than I have in the past, which has been super fun. I still have a lot more to learn about the studio, about pottery in general, but I'm excited to explore it in this new space that we have that's right walking distance from my home where I can hang out with my wife and kid. Speaking of my wife and kid, let's ask Isi what she thinks about this. Ready? Isi, what did you, how do you feel about the studio being here? Look at here, not here. I am, I'm looking there. Good job. I have to remind myself of that. I love having it here. It is, I have, I said this the other day, I have been in this studio way more in the last two months than I was in the Mocha Monkey studio for the last like eight years. Like it's just Is it because cleaner. it's so nice or because it's right well, at it's our house? Well, it's convenient for sure. It's convenient. It's clean. It's got beautiful windows and I don't know, I've, I've had a say in it, I guess. I was part of the process and... What do you think was the best and worst parts of designing and building the studio? I think right away planning where all the windows, I mean, and countertops and all that, that was challenging because we already had everything. So we kind of had to plan it based off of that, which was also a blessing, but yeah. that was challenging. Um, and then what was your other question? The fun things? The best and worst things about building the studio. The mural was really fun. I had a fun time. The mural was sweet. Planning that and thinking about that. The plants. <laughs> the plants, the plants kind of are the cake, the icing on the cake. Yeah, I just, I wanted to be a cozy space and I think we're on our way, adding a few more little things we'll get there, but making it a place where we want to be and hang out and bring our family. Yeah. So I think we're, we've accomplished that. So thanks. <laughs> so thanks everybody. Thanks to everyone that contributed on the Kickstarter and thanks to all the patrons on Patreon. Thanks to Amy and Paul for giving us all their kitchen mm -hmm. stuff. Brian for the windows, help from my parents, your parents. Like there's a lot yeah. of people that helped out with this project. So it's like finally so close to being done. It's I've like been procrastinating doing this studio tour video just cause like there's always like one more, two more things that need to get done. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be yeah. how it is forever. So, all right, if you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, comment, share, all the things. Oh, and one more quick announcement. We're expecting another baby. We just came from the doctor, and this ball is gonna show us what the gender of our baby is, what the gender of your sibling is, okay? <laughs> A big swing. <laughs> it's a boy! <laughs> Boys. I love Yeah, is it gonna be a boy? Is that blue? I got Brewster. Show the camera. Ryder, how do you feel about having a brother? Boys. Say boys rule. I'm Yeah. 